Hello, Scorpio and Crosswatchers alike. I was going to do this like three days ago and it didn't happen. Everyone wanted my space. Anyway, welcome to your May reading of this current year. And Scorpio, you are special because I get to use my brand new tarot decks that I just got in from another one of y'all. This one's called, um, this person is pull the trigger tarot. They haven't set up their shit yet, but like I'm shouting them out anyway. They got me the everyday witch tarot deck, which is like, eh. it's actually really cute. Like it's weird. Like the pictures are awesome, but they whisper why is shit all the time. Why is shit? It's interesting, right? Then I got Dreams of Gaia Tarot, which is a really weird tarot deck because it's got 81 instead of like 78. So it's like three more, three more cards. Still very confusing. I don't even follow the shit the way I should, right? And a lot of it's way more different than what you think, you know? And then I also got the Wild Wood Tarot. I actually had this deck before when I was in um, deployment and I gave it to somebody. Because I couldn't connect with it. But now that I have it now, I kind of, like, understand why I couldn't connect with it. It's like one of those decks where, you know, like, you have to fuck with it enough to where, like, it's just like, ah! You have to use tarot just enough or an excessive amount before, like, you actually sit there and understand, oh, okay, I get what these cards are actually trying to say. This is kind of dangerous. Holy shit. But it's kind of cool and exciting and it makes my panties wet. Oh, anyway, Scorpio and Crosswatchers alike, this is your May reading, and it's for the sign in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, if this resonates with you, if not, you just boop your nose, way it goes, no point worrying about shit, they ain't got nothing to do with you, it ain't none of your damn business, if it's boring, but it's never boring, because it's never about you, so you have to know. Anyway, I'm gonna be using these decks for you, Scorpios, you are the chosen one, yay, congrats. Um, I'm gonna use my, uh, Everyday Witch and my shadow escape as a clarifier after I'm done. So anyway, Scorpio and Cross Watchers, yours is kind of awkward, for sure. Very awkward to the point where it's just like, the fuck, the fuck did that bitch say? You know, like you're just looking like, what the fuck did that bitch just say to my face? Because I'll beat her ass, right? So look, right, we got. In the vibration and energy, seven of vessels reversed with the nine of air, which is like someone isn't mourning something, possibly you or the person you're dealing with, Scorpion Cross Watcher, and there's some uh, clarity or perception about that, or maybe there's self awareness as well. I had to write these cards down because they're nothing like tarot cards either. Like, Dreams of Guy calls itself tarot. This is not tarot, this is a completely different element to read the cards, but that's beside the point. I feel like there's more awareness of how one is bound in a situation than anything. Speaking of situation, situation down here, the Six of Vessels, doesn't seem like it's going to get birthed anytime soon with the Ace of Fire reversed. There's a lot of uncertainty with this card, too, I feel like. Maybe somebody's certain that they are uncertain. One of the two right in the wants and wishes um someone's all in their ego about a reunion not coming up with the six vessels with the nine of fire wait oh no that's 11 there's an 11 why the fuck is there an 11 i thought there was nine hold on i need to actually look at this it's like i mean this is weird that's what i mean like there's just there's things in here where it's just like, what do you mean? <laughs> there's nine, ten, there's twelve, hero of fire. Oh my god, what? Eleven of fire, masculine, feminine, passive, aggressive. <laughs> I like how there's a slash between passive and aggressive. Like, oh, okay, because they don't go together. <laughs> hmm. Oh, putting aside gender stereotypes, we are both masculine and feminine. Masculine energy serves to protect. Serves nature. Too much of one, not enough of the other. Okay. 
oh my god, this deck is so fucking weird, but okay, whatever. <laughs> I think you all understand my frustration. Wait. So is that like that with, is there like 12 or something in every, I'm not sure, whatever. Anyway. So there might, I want and wish with the Ace of Vessels or the Ace of Cups reverse. It's like no apologies, no new beginnings. <laughs> But that might be based on someone's whole, like, issue with, like, what they think. I don't know. Maybe it, has, maybe it does have something to do with the role of genders. I'm not sure yet. I haven't gotten there. These are new. And they're confusing as fuck. I'll say that much. It's confusing as fuck. And I'll actually have to sit and look at each and every fucking card. Like, ugh. Lessons, right? Down below in the obstacles and challenges, though, is the hooded man or the hermit with the perception card. Which I, I I was having a minute trying to figure out why the perception cards here with the hooded man or the hermit basically because the hermit's already like eval doing self evaluation, self analysis, looking deep inside to figure things out, or just self isolating because you know like they're sick of people. But there's a perception here, and this bitch looks like she's one of those things from like a Constantine comic or some shit, or just I don't know. It's like almost a just a car. If you will. That's what I should name yours. The Justicar. But it's also like, it's a perception in a sense, too. So that might be an issue. Fears and rejections. We have the Crow in reverse with the Archer. and Which is aimed right at the beginning theme, too. So that's kind of weird. Like the Archer. Fears and rejections. What did I write down? Uh, the crone would be like a dumb bitch. Someone who isn't wise, right? There's a fear of rejection that maybe she's the one who's going to be shooting this arrow with the archer right here. Like, look at this bitch. She is prepared to stab a motherfucker through the head with a projectile device. Be like, come at me, bro. Actually, you don't have to. I will send it your way. You know. But someone also thinks she isn't wise or a dumb bitch. Or maybe the actual act of doing so makes somebody a dumb bitch. One of the two. But that's my dumb bitch card when she's reversed. That's just how that's gonna go. That's dumb bitch card. Uh, let's see. How does shit start? How it'll end? Knight of Vessels or Knight of Cups reverse the eel. Someone's a sleeky, sneaky, slimy fuck and they are neither chakras realigned, basically. There's a lack of discipline with this person. For sure. And I agree with that when it comes to this, uh, Ten of Fire thing. When it comes to this Knight of Cups, it's like a lack of discipline or a lack of self-control. That's why someone's a sneaky, slimy fuck, right? Uh, and the beginning theme, Ten of Vessels. Happiness, it is not. It's reverse. So, somewhere along the way, there was a fucking tsunami or a bitch just dried up and was just like, you know what? I just need to go home and do whatever, right? Right. Because this isn't good for me. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. I'm sorry that took so long, Scorpio. But then again, I was also talking about which cards I got, so that's fine. Anyway, let's continue. Let us go ahead with the witches, so with the kitty cats. And boomstick and a little hat. Ooh, I love it. I was like all like, giddy and excited last night because I was doing rituals and shit. And I was just like, oh, I love being a witch. And it was like, ah, I do. I actually do. It's actually a lot more fun when there isn't someone up your ass telling you how stupid it is. You know? It's nice to have somebody who has faith in you. It's different anyway. All right, Scorpion Cross Watcher. Seven of Vessels, no longer mourning because there's some self-perception, right? Or someone figure has some awareness of themselves in some way. They're getting enlightened, maybe. There is no good offer with this Ace of Pentacles. Like, this kid's like, I can honestly see the sun, but the sun's behind him. So you, it's like somebody, uh, it's like, oh, my boyfriend, like, my boyfriend came in and took a picture, but then you see in the background, no, that's not the picture. Like, the boyfriend's not there. You can see in the mirror that, like, the bitch is taking a picture of herself. 
you know, like offering some bullshit with the pay with, with that Ace of Pentacles, you know, like, oh, let me take a selfie. Yeah, we know that you took a selfie. We can see it in the background. Clean your room, bitch. You know. With a King of Wands right here. That might be who you were getting that shit from. Could be Leo Sag Arias. He doesn't seem like he knows what the fuck he's talking about. Like, he looks like a teacher upright. Because I've already been using his cards already a little bit. And I love them. Oh my god. They whisper such interesting shit. But anyway, this dude looks like he's a teacher. Like a geography teacher, right? Like he knows where he's going. Knows what he's talking about. Here, it's kind of like, yeah. You've never been to Georgia once, have you? No, you haven't. No. I feel like this is someone who tries to teach things that he doesn't even know about. And someone's just decided they're not taking a ride on the broomstick because of it, you know. Like, there's really no leap of faith in this situation because, like, this dude just doesn't... Like, they don't know what they don't know. Or it's least enough to where, like, someone recognizes that, like, you know... Like I was saying earlier, um... I feel like someone else is taking a picture of you, but it's really you taking the fucking picture. But then not knowing what the fuck you're talking about, it's kind of like, that was enough to be like, you know what, I... No, 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 no. You need to go back home. You need to fuck right off. You're getting on my nerves and I'm about to lose it all. You know, like, no, there's something here. No. <laughs> I've been watching The Muppets. The Muppet Show. And I grew up with that shit. So it's just like, oh. Alice Cooper on there. I think he's on there twice. I'm not sure. But that was my childhood I shared with you. I'm just letting you know. The Muppets are cool. If you don't like The Muppet Show, you can, you just need the fuck right off, honestly. We don't need that kind of negativity in my house. <coughs> Six of Vessels, dealing with reunion. That shit doesn't seem like it's getting birthed in this situation. Why is that, please? Because there's an Ace of Swords reverse situation within the situation. You got another Ace. Mm. Shit ain't getting birth because something isn't, like, either being acknowledged or known. Like, this bitch is, like, you know, she's pretending to be He-Man instead of having the power. You know, He-Man always screams, I am have the power. This bitch is just screaming, I am He-Man. She's not screaming, I have the power, which is the whole point of him, like, even having the... Whatever, and Castle Grayskull and all that shit. Which fucks me up, because it's just like, you shouldn't... Skeletor, or whatever the fuck his name is, like, living in the Castle Glorious Skull? Since his name's Skeletor? Or maybe that's what he was doing in the entire show, trying to steal that place because it was Castle Glorious Skull. I don't know. I'm slightly inebriated. <laughs> but that's okay, because you know what? I know kind of what I'm talking about because it's like she's not really recognizing that she has power as much as she is just acknowledging she's got a sword in the air and it does shit. Like someone talks of the mouth about whatever or something. Because there is communication here and she is putting that out. She's like sending out tweets. Um, racist tweets and people are like canceling this bitch for it kind of feel you know that, that, that's actually a really good way of describing that card I'm actually I'm proud of myself <laughs> I'm actually a little bit proud of myself let's see three of pentacles reverse someone's like just saying nonsense or putting out nonsense about why something won't work out with the three of pentacles reverse like none of these colors are actually the right colors i feel like and that's what's causing this lack of balance here the six of pentacles like this bitch is just ripping pentacles off people's necks like no this belongs to me you know like mm. ew ew yeah because it's like 
look at this card almost looks like she was trying to give pentacles away to people because that's what it looked like around this dude's neck and this way it almost feels like oh she's tearing the rosary off that bitch okay well if she's that angry but that's a weird reason to be angry over some bullshit i think someone's lying a little bit i don't know what about that's not my fucking concern but it's like it feels like someone's lying God, these, these are so dramatic. You know, like, these ones read really way deeper than what I was actually anticipating when I saw the images. Because they whisper a lot. Like, a lot of shit. Like, they, like, you're still telling me shit right now. About, like, even this top scenario. Like, they just keep whispering and it's weird. All right. Wants and wishes. Someone doesn't want an ace of vessels or an ace of cups. They don't want the water or life. They're just like, fuck it, it's poison. But that's because they're in their own ego and shit. What is that right down for that? Um, yeah, no case. They want ego and praise, and they shouldn't be looking for that, honestly. Let's see. Okay. We got the five of swords reverse. It's because they're fucking bullshit. Their mind tricks didn't work. Like, look at this bitch in the background. She's in tears. Look at these. These are amazing. This bitch is in fucking tears. One bitch is like, yes, my minion swords. And the other one's just in a state of shock. The other one's just like, oh my god, what have we done? But this way, it's like it went horribly wrong. It became worse than what they thought. It actually came back on them. Like bad juju energy. Like when people say that like if you do a spell wrong, it'll come back on you kind of shit. And I feel like this person actually felt the repercussions of it. Because the way that they were going about it was just all fucked up, you know. So now they're all indecisive about what to do. And they feel like this bullshit is not fair. Like they know the rules. They're reading the book. Uh, like Justice has a blindfold up so she can look at the book of law. But this person knows the law. They just don't give a shit about the law. They're just like, still, it's bullshit, you know? And one bitch just weeping in the fucking corner. Oh. That is great. Obstacle and challenge is looking deep inside at, I think, one's perception of things. Because we do have the Ace of Swords reverse. And we got someone who has no idea what the fuck they're talking about, Scorpion Crosswatcher. So. I don't know if this person was trying to teach you a lesson, either. Because I'm kind of getting that feel with it, too, from what they're kind of... Like, someone was trying to teach you something and rip something away from you. But it was so fucked up, it came kind of back on them. But they're not trying to admit it to themselves. Like, they're, like their shit's out of line. They need, like, their chakras smacked around a bit so they can get some sense in them. So what's up with their perception? Well, we kind of already know, but still. Um, nothing's produced the way they thought it would. Like, they didn't put enough work in, or they didn't put the right effort in, or they just gave... Um, some bullshit to some bullshit. Some plants. And, like, it just grew funky. They didn't take care of their fruit. Or what was producing fruit. And they needed the patience for that. One eye closed, one eye open. Balance. You know? Taking the actual time to meditate. I mean, you get peak every once in a while. Sure. Person's just like, am I enlightened yet? Am I doing yoga right yet? Do I sound like Blanche the Bar? I hope so. She's always just a darling little southern flower, after all. That's, not, that's too much of a West Virginia draw. I'll tell you one thing, man. Like, West Virginia southern accent and every other southern accent is so different. Because I'll still always sound like somebody from West Virginia. Always. Always. <laughs> I can, no, like, people can tell the difference, and I always think I'm from Tennessee. I'm like, no, I'm not from Tennessee. I wish, I kind of wish I was, like, but not really. Just so people could stop asking me if I'm from Tennessee. Like, I've never been to Tennessee before. I just, 
even go? I don't know why I haven't gone. Anyway, um, let's see. What else? Someone has been playing the fruit of their loins and they're trying to be patient with it. Or at least they're trying to make up this perception that they're patient, but they got one eye open like they're still looking. Like, you're supposed to be at peace, bitch. Quit, be, quit watching the clock to see how long it's going to take. You know? For communication? Possibly with an Aquarius? Also, we got Libra up here, too. Um, Leo Sag, Aries... Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. That shit, right? Right. Fears and Rejection. Someone's afraid someone's going to go on the attack on this unhappiness right here. Or someone took an attack to create this unhappiness. Because they're a dumb bitch. Or a dumb old bitch. Or something like that. Like the Crown Reverse. Like someone thinks that they don't know what they're talking about. Or someone's afraid that a young bitch is going to go after someone, an older woman who they perceive as a dumb bitch. It could be one of those two. Yeah. Third party situation could have led to a breakup or these... Which bitches? No, those are, are those dude. Wait, <laughs> hold up. I thought that was her leg, but that's actually her foot. Okay. I feel like there it's like a bunch of chicks or a bunch of women just coming after each other because they were fucking the same guy. Because she's like, what the fuck? But, like, some young bitch could be going after an older woman because she thinks she's a dumb bitch. They like, might all have been, like, fucking the same guy or something. You know? Which would lead to a ten of pentacles situation where nobody gets any bread. Nobody's, like, chill at the bazaar just waiting for awesome shit to happen. Nobody's really coming together as a family. You know? And that's, in the, and that's gonna take a lot of work to deal with, too. I feel like someone's trying to concoct some plans so this won't get found out or this shit doesn't happen. Like, no, 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 no. I'm going to have to poison each and every one of these motherfuckers in order to calm them. I'm, I'm going to throw a Xanax in each mouth. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to throw a Xanax in a bitch's mouth. Uh, how should start to end? Knight of Vessels. Someone's being really immature with their emotions and it's because they lack a lot of discipline. They could be dealing with a king of cups right here, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Who was already on the board anyway? I didn't even remember like the Knight of wa Water or the Knight of Cups. So yeah, everybody's on the board. Everyone's on the board. Yay! So we get the King Cups right here. Three of Wands. Reverse and Page of Swords. This person's got a lot of balls. I think that they're an emotionally mature one when they don't really seem like they have any discipline when it comes to themselves at all. Like, fuck, they're afraid a young bitch is going to go after an old hoe or whatever the fuck. Or an old bitch or just a dumb bitch, a dumb old bitch, some bitch. Who knows what that bitch is doing, but that bitch is there. Um, but... Like, the King of Cups, like, he's got a telescope and he can definitely look at shit. He's not waiting for anything because he's got like these little page of swords right here. <laughs> Who I feel like does the minimum. Like he's definitely able to use his power or whatever, but all of his books are on the ground. Just threw that shit being like, that's valuable information, you little shit. Um, but he doesn't care because he's got a sword. He'd be like, I have the power. And it's just like, okay, but like you could have more if you picked up your fucking books and shit. Um, you have stuff. Like it's like this person has. um information right at their feet or at least something they can learn right at their feet but they're too busy wielding their sword to notice uh like the dude has a telescope but he's not willing to do anything because he's already got a sword up saying like minuscule shit so it's like oh okay whatever what's the ending theme please hmm Queen of Swords reverse with the Ten of Vessels reverse. Happiness, unhappiness. Someone's crazy again, cutting shit off. She looks like she's kind of sickly reverse too. Like she's, like she's, like her mind is just torn her body a new asshole. And she's just 
losing her shit. Could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for sure. I think the, it's in the King of Swords Eye or somewhere. No, no, I don't see him. I don't think so. No, so yeah, some feminine energy or some feminine vibration or something like that. Or just someone, just any energy of, like, you know, like, I'm a cut of bitch. I don't give a fuck. Like, she shouldn't have touched my goddamn crayons. You know, like, and, and someone's in that energy of, like, just wanting to hurt somebody. You know? Let us. Let us. Up with the vibration and energy, right? Like, Page of Pentacles reverse, King of Wands reverse, the full reverse. Ooh. So this person had, like, someone had some bad... The way somebody presented themselves, I feel like they always made somebody stupid. Or ma made somebody feel stupid, I mean. And they didn't want to take a jump for something, right? Uh... But they would jump to perceive the idea that they're going to attack somebody. Like, whoever this is, Scorpio, they see themselves completely backwards to what the fuck they actually are. It's like they don't even realize that they're doing it, which is sad. Uh, coming in for an attack, trying to look for a reason to stick around, though. It's like... It's like, almost like, like this bitch is protecting her kids from this dude, but this dude keeps like barking at her so she has an excuse to stick around. Almost two seconds. Sorry about that, y'all. I thought I got a message. Um, Ace of Cups reverse. It's also up here. Uh, da, da, da. Knight of Cups. If there's no apologies, what's the point of writing up with a cup? Scorpio, this kind of feels like um Taurus's reading I did, where it was like someone like is a sack of shit. Um, but they always write up with love offers, but it, it never comes with any love. We got the, uh... Hold on. Ace of Cups with the Knight of Cups reverse right afterwards. It's like... They'll come after your cup, but they ain't bringing their own? What the fuck is that shit? All for a new beginning that they can't even manifest on their fucking own. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. mm 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 Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, all reverse. There's a lack of perception here about shit not working out, so they're just tearing shit off of people. Like, no, you don't have anything from here. Fuck you, you don't deserve it. He's not a balance. I feel like this person won't be happy until, like, they're the only person happy, maybe? Or I don't know. Yeah, that's it's that's some bullshit. Just it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. We have the ace of swords again. This motherfucker has like certain aces, and I don't. And but I feel like I don't appreciate them the way that I, that they do. But that's a good thing. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Yeah, this ace of pentacles. Someone's writing off with that shit, and they're not dealing with it. it could be an earth sign. They're taking the Ace of Pentacles and running, and someone was not expecting that shit. Once again, the Five of Swords reversed. Like, someone wasn't expecting their plans to fail. And over time, they become really unhappy about it. Why is that? Because they've been acting like the Magician reversed the entire time. Um, they've been fe- like, 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 look, 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 look. They've been feeding into this the entire time. That's the lie. It's like, they're acting like they're... Like, adjust a car. 
If you don't know what a Jessica car is, they're not hard to look up, but they were, um... Yeah. Yeah, someone's acting like a fucking Justica for sure. Hmm. Wants and wishes. Scorpios and cross watches. Let's see. The Five of Swords, Two of Swords, Justice, all reverse. That Five of Swords energy kind of backfires, so someone's really indecisive about the injustice they laid out. Like, they know what the fuck right and wrong is, they just don't fucking... They're, it, it, it's like, mm. And they're trying to look at it sideways to find a loophole, I think. Because they just want to run away and, like, never look back, you know. Been around the world tonight. I can't find my baby. Okay. Um. Because they're way too fucking insecure and they want to hang on to whatever it is they have control over. Um, it's like snake, you know. One more on that. Because they're just going to run away and act like they don't have to acknowledge their feelings, which is like, you know, that's all fine and dandy and shit, but you're going to have to do that at some point in time. Because, like, you might not get frustrated with it, but other people will when they try. Oh my god, really? Then I'm gonna spread some more nonsense as the page of Swords Reverse right here. In order to move forward with their sneaky sneaks. Why would she do that? Okay, obstacle and challenge, right? Hold up. Seven Pentacles Reverse, the Temperance Car, and the Star. Someone did not fulfill their fruit. They were too impatient to really meditate. When it comes to, like, communication or really just, wait. Some of these are backwards. Holy fuck. Oh. Dear sweet baby Jesus. I don't know. Okay, I think that's all. Alright, cool. Like, transference. Two cups in an area right here. There's definitely a love situation somewhere. And three cups where people are gossiping about it. Why? Like, the fuck? Someone needs to make a decision about it. Hmm. I feel like this person wants to jump into some shit with the person that they formerly were with. Scorpion Crosswatcher. But they didn't actually meditate right. And when it came to their communication, it's kind of like, eh, Like, they only poured in what they wanted to, not everything. Almost like, so this relationship would be the talk of the town with the Three of Cups over here. Like, trying to get people to gossip about it so a choice can be made. You know? Which is rather odd. Because the Three of Cups is reversed over here with these bitches dancing in a fucking, like, park fountain for some reason. Just being like, oh, we're so excited and then the police officer has to be like man please get out of the fountain you know you're not supposed to do that we're not even allow homeless people to do that you know like which is kind of fucked up when you think about it because homeless people don't have a home and you you think that they need to shower somewhere just let them shower in the fountain nobody else is drinking the fountain it's not even that big of a deal it's a reservoir of water why can't they why because everybody else has to pay for water okay that i mean i understand that but they don't have a fucking house. And they can't get a job if they stink. So, you know, like, that's what, like, it's almost like, mm, it's like these people are just. 
like what most people would consider like i don't know i i, I like i feel bad for people who are homeless because i've been homeless before and that shit's harsh man especially when you can't get a footing in especially if people won't help you out sometimes like that shit can be really hard but i feel like this is a bunch of bitches who like people would consider absolute trash in this regard and they kind of separate ways because of that which leads to a disbandment, but it's almost like someone's working on that shit too. But this is all under the guise of like one bitch attacking another bitch who's a dumber bitch than she is. Because at least the bitch that's shooting the arrow is smart enough to think about doing it before the dumb old bitch does it, right? It's like a concoction right here. Maybe it, it, like someone's fearing and rejecting that someone's gonna come after this person. Like set it up to where like possibly. It works against them, you know? That lack of communications there. Or a lack of understanding, or just way too much arrogance about the scenario, too. You know? Yeah, and that's what's probably bringing this unbalance with the situation. Once again, someone's feeding the wrong shit into a seedling or a tree. Somebody in this uh, creation of this deck had a thing against trees. That's I, I'm just going for that. I don't care if I'm right or not. Someone does not like baby trees. Because look, like these pentacles are basically like those poison mushrooms from like Mario. It is just sapping strength from the tree. Mm. All right. Last row, and then we'll do advice cards, King of Cups, Three of Wands, Reverse, Page of Swords. I feel like this person with the King of Cups, like, having his telescope to decide instead of, like, actually trying to look at it. Like, he can look at any time. He feels like he can look at any time, but he's not putting the energy in to do that as much as he is trying to raise his sword as the Page of Swords with what little information he has. On a very naive level, I will say. So. Uh, there's an empress here who's being fruitful. She's also feeding into this Queen of Swords reverse energy. Which might be this person. They might be creating this entire own Queen of Swords reverse energy where they feel like they need to cut shit out. Which they really don't. They've just lost their fucking minds. That's all. That's all. Old and grizzled and all that shit. In order to bring in an, a, a future that doesn't deal with the past. One more. Because I'm curious. Okay. That way they can recover. Hmm. So, Dreams of Gaia. Ooh, that's some black and white shit. I was just thinking that, too. Huh. Alright, three advice cards from the this deck. This is like my fourth Oriole deck. So I think I have enough cards to um, have separate decks for all of my deck. For all of my elements. So everyone gets their own designated uh, stuff. With the exception of the after terror deck, because that goes everywhere. Uh, eight of air. Mm, I feel like someone isn't recognizing their faults. Because I think I got that card for somebody before. Maybe a client. But I'm not sure. This honestly could be the devil, but I don't know yet because it's number 14. <laughs> but this deck is weird. I'll look at all of them, like, here in a second. Because, like, I really don't know this deck at all. It's so untraditional. Let's see. 13 of Earth. Thirteen. Third fucking team. Thirteen. Maybe it's queen. I don't know. But it's that number trips me out. Okay. So eight of air. Let's see. Eight of air reverse. Ego, truth, power, responsibility, consequences, cause and effect, lessons learned, memory. 
Ego does not always tell the truth. Effects will always follow the cause. Time to change your ways. Admit that you've made a mistake. Self-justification does not mitigate harm. Consequences are inescapable. We all make mistakes. Memory is imperfect. Okay, but it's reversed, so I'm assuming this person isn't trying to even look at that. Or even recognize that about themselves with the aid of error reverse. Then we got some fucking number. Um, 14. Self. I am. Identity. Self-realization. self manifestation Center. Peace. Acceptance. Establishing a unique and individual identity. Be free of definition. Be free of definitions and labels. That's spelled weird. You have unlimited potential. The past and how it shapes us. What's this 13 of um, Earth? This Earth is like... Okay, Queen of Earth. Earth, mother, pragmatic, real, kind, nurturing, abundant, fertile mind, wise, touch, connect, great with your hands, be supportive and nurturing, seek out a motherly role model, a need for wise and honest counsel. Um, so, Scorpio and cross -watchers. I would assume that this person, with this advice right here, dealing with this reading, I don't think they know how to acknowledge their mistakes, and they're using that to shape this idea that they don't really need to connect in some way or another or do, I don't I'm not sure with this person honestly because it's like I, I it's like they they don't they 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 don't fucking I'm sounding like my dad with all the stuttering I swear to Christ that's how that's how flustered this person has me right now it's like they're making me stutter like my fucking father when he's about ready to like get pissed and shit because he stutters and when he stutters he gets mad because it's an imperfection and i feel like this person like wants to hide that shit like they're upset and everything but for the wrong reasons it's like i don't even know entirely what they're trying to hide from themselves like that's what's confusing the shit out of me other than like you know they're trying to convince someone to let them come back in but they're being all really hostile about it like they're the victim but the bitch with the kids is like the one that's protect being protective and shit like he's coming into her den almost expecting to be taken back whilst being an asshole and acting like it's this bitch's fault he doesn't live there now which is like i don't know it, it, it's a confusing kind of thing because it's like this person wants to play the blame game but they don't want to look at their own shit so i don't know wow this is 43 minutes holy shit scorpio well you deserved it because you're a little late anyway so this is your reading Sorry I'm a drunk bitch. I love y'all. Um, if you like this, like, share, and subscribe. If not, don't worry about it. But I greatly appreciate it. I love you guys' faces, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.